Hi guys, it's Ben here, Liverpool have just drawn one over Burnley. I'm going to keep this one short because, to be honest, I'm just bored of this season already and I'm at the point where I've almost written off the league campaign. Um, a draw at home to Burnley, the same old problems, the same pattern. Uh, another draw at home against a team we should be putting away. Um, dominated the game, didn't create many chances, but created enough to probably you know, think we should have converted one. I mean, the Solanke one's the obvious one. Um, same issues as always. Clavin, I don't know what he's trying to do for... For the goal, um, leaves our field with all that space. He gets attracted to Matip's challenge, which I don't know why he's getting involved in that. Matip lost his battle, but Clavin's got no need to be helping him out. He needs to be keeping an eye on our field, and our field slots it. Um, and going forward, we just didn't do enough. Burnley obviously parked the bus, defended really well. Tarkovsky had a great game. The keeper makes a couple of good saves. What a boring, boring, what a boring time to be a Liverpool fan. <laughs> I'm furious at Jurgen Klopp, uh, I'm, I'm furious that Firmino played out on the left for much of that game and didn't get involved because what's the point, Sturridge, I'd rather see Sturridge play out wide or give Oxlade-Chamberlain a game out wide, why didn't Oxlade-Chamberlain start? Um, Milner had a good game but I, I just think Oxlade-Chamberlain would have been a better bet from the start, he always looks lively. Um, so look, and again the, the defence, why did we not sign a centre back? I'm going to be asking that question every day until January, why did we not sign someone better than Radnor Clevin? Let's go to player ratings, Milne does nothing wrong. Um, can't do anything for their goal, makes a good save from me. Why is me free twice and from two corners? Sick of it. Um, so yeah, Mignolet, six. Trent uh, did okay, probably six as well. Matip had an all right game, um, loses his battle for the goal, give him a six as well. Clavin, five. Robertson got forward nicely, uh, no real mishaps from him, quite a comfortable afternoon, so he's probably another six. Uh, going to midfield, Emre Chan. Um, why is he getting into a scrap at the end? They just wasted so much stoppage time. Why is he doing that? Um, no need. It's just, just forget about it. Try and win the game for Liverpool. He had an okay game. Um, six out of ten. It's a very six out of ten performances all round, really. Um, who else played midfield? James Milner. I actually thought he had a good second half. He was the one that looked most likely to create something for us. Um, some nice crosses, getting into good positions, moving well. Um, so I'm going to give him a seven. Um, Coutinho, great dribbling. Um, look bright for a man who hasn't played from the start for Liverpool for so long but his shooting boots were way off today I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 though because he was very bright um, Salah man of the match 8 out of 10 first half in particular is un unplayable uh, gets his goal he's going to score a lot of goals for us this season second half he's kind of marked out the game a bit we couldn't really get him involved as much as I'd like him to um, but I still thought he was a threat um, saw a lot of the ball in the first half very good got us back into the game obviously so 8 out of 10 man in the match uh, on the other side Firmino as I say why was he playing that wide I hate it when he does that um, just couldn't get involved 6 out of 10 Daniel Sturridge uh, 6 out of 10 as well really um, did okay some nice, nice bits of movement and a good effort uh, which unfortunately was right down the keeper's throat rather than to either side uh, the subs Oxlade Chamberlain came on and again looked bright so I mean he wasn't on for long enough to get any more than a 6 really and uh, Solanke missed that, so uh, didn't really do much else, 5 out of 10. Um, just frustrated with the manager. Um, obviously, I love him, great manager for Liverpool Football Club, but his substitutions again came too late. Why did we not bring Oxlade Chamberlain on earlier? Why did we not start him? But why did we not bring him on earlier? I hate it when we wait until 75 minutes to make a change. Uh, we needed one on 60. We were slowing down. I could see the way the game was going. It was just petering out. We weren't creating any chances. We needed to bring Oxlade Chamberlain on earlier. Um, or, or something something to change up a little bit. I'm not really a big fan of the Solanke change. Um, I'm not really happy with the fact that he's the person we have to look to from the bench, uh, given the fact that he was a you know, Chelsea youth player last year. I do like Solanke and I think he'll come good for us, but I just don't necessarily like the fact he's the one coming off the bench when we're trying to win games. We had a lot of average players on the pitch at the end there trying to win a game against a resolute Burnley defence. I'm pissed off. Um, I don't want to talk about this much longer. I'm bored of the season already. I've kind of written off winning the league. Man City are going to absolutely stomp past everybody. A 6-0 for them at Watford today just puts everything into perspective. They're just going to run right. Uh, they beat us 5-0. They beat final 4-0. They beat Watford 6-0. They're just a much better team than us. They should be. They spent all that money. But why did we not spend more money? Why did we not bring a defender in? Why have we not got more options um, in attack as well? Someone like Thomas Lamar obviously springs to mind. I'm so frustrated. I'm so frustrated. Tartarus is over for us.